Hello, welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. Appreciate you guys stopping in and watching my video here. Um, do me a favor before I forget, if you can hit the thumbs up on there, down there. And um, if you're not a subscriber, ask that you become a subscriber. So first things first, I am going to make something really cool. And uh, katsu chicken, right? You go you know, to the Chinese restaurant, order a katsu chicken, they chop it up into these little slices. And then they give you the, the katsu chicken uh, or katsu sauce or whatever they call it. And uh, I'm gonna make some katsu sauce homemade. And we're gonna make some katsu chicken grilled cheese sandwiches. What? Yeah, I said it, grilled cheese sandwiches. Katsu chicken grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't know how they're gonna turn out, but we're gonna check it out. So let's go ahead and go over our shopping list and uh, start this cook. Okay, so here's our shopping list here. So basically I have um, about a quarter cup of uh, ketchup and a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce tablespoon of soy sauce and two teaspoons of sugar and that's going to be our sauce for this um, katsu chicken and I just give that up a stir here and then um, one second there. there we go there's our sauce right there so that's what we're going to put on the chicken and then, uh, of course, we're gonna have our um, flour, our wet wash, there's a couple eggs in there, and just a tea, about a, not even a tablespoon of uh, water, and then pico crumbs over there. And then we're gonna, one breast, and we'll go ahead and cut this open and fillet it out and uh, pound it down to be, you know, a good probably quarter inch or so. And then we are going to put some of this seasoning, my first time using Uncle Steve's Shake. And this is the uh, competition bird shake seasoning. Super excited about this. So I can't wait to use this. And um, then the bread of choice is, it's a bake shop and it's, um, it's a country potato bread. So. And then I'm gonna put some butter on that. We'll grill the bread on there. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and get our oil up to temp. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this breast here. I'm gonna cut this little bit of uh, skin off. And then um, if I see anything else, I didn't go to my normal meat market where I get my meat so I'm not a big fan of getting the uh, breast that's out of the uh, fridge that's already pre-packaged so just take that whole thing off and then uh, that's what I got here let's take that piece of skin off and um, sharp sharp knives I can't you know, say it enough. It's it's really uh, kind of dangerous if you have a dull knife and you're using a dull knife and you're cutting. You can actually get yourself in trouble. So you should always have sharp knives. This knife is actually pretty sharp. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna, gonna come down a little bit with this. Let's take this piece off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to thinly cut this open, play this. Like that. All right, we're pretty clean. And then um, let's go ahead. And I'm not gonna go all the way through Lay that open like that. Okay, 
I'm done cutting that. Take off. This hand is, is already, this hand I didn't touch the chicken with. And then let's go ahead and get the Steve shake. Put a good amount on there. Smash it in. I used the wrong hand, of course. Flip that over. Good amount. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I can already see it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in a bag and we're gonna pound that bad boy so it's all even. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pound this a little bit, kind of get it evenly all over the place. because, you know, breasts are a little bit bigger on one side. And you just kind of want to have it cook evenly. And that's that. Okay, I'm gonna cut this to the size of the bread roughly. So I'm gonna cut this end off. And then we're gonna cut right about right there. Same up here, about right there. And then up here. It's gonna be a little bit bigger, which is okay. go. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and start our dry mix, wet mix, and pico crumbs. Okay, let's go ahead and do uh, this chicken here. Try to keep one hand dry. Take it, put it in the um, flour. Dust it really good, get the sides dusted. And this is gonna cause that egg wash to uh, stick. So. Check off the excess. Drop it in the egg wash. Peco, Peco crumbs. I don't know why I have a hard time with that. And then um, stuff it really good. Smash them in there. This is gonna be really good. Sorry about the dog barking out back there. Smash that in. And I've got my oil temperature up around 3, 325 ish uh, on the Blackstone. And let's go ahead and deep fry this. Okay, so a lot of people are afraid to uh, do their oil like this. Um, it's not that dangerous, but uh, just make sure you don't splash the oil on you. And let's go ahead and drop this in there. Let that go for a few minutes, probably around five minutes or so. Flip it over. It's pretty drenched in there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mayo, put mayo on uh, this bread. And 
This is my cheating method. Instead of burning it with a knife. And we're gonna go ahead and stick this on the grill. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and um, let's turn this down. I'm gonna grill one side and take it off. So what I did here is I threw this extra chicken on here so it doesn't go to waste. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this bread off. As you can see, it's pretty toasted on one side. And um, that's gonna be where the cheese goes. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some more mayo on here. And then we're gonna put some cheese on there when that uh, chicken is done. And we're about ready to flip that over a little bit. In the meantime, I'm putting a little barbecue sauce on this uh, chicken shabab kebab. And I got the Carolina stuff, and just a light coating. Yeah, good stuff, Carolina barbecue sauce. And let's go ahead and flip this guy over. Oh yeah, look at that, look at how beautiful that looks. That guy. That's just a uh, real quick sear on that. Chicken's pretty well done on that. Those are really, really good. And I'm gonna give that to my wife. A little plate. Okay, so we're gonna be uh, calling this bad boy done. Look at how beautiful that looks. I did turn off the uh, burners. And I'm going to go ahead and put it over here, let that soak up. That burner is off in the middle, and, um, and on the end over there, on the right side. I did go ahead and put some mayo on the bread, and um, one thing I didn't go over in the ingredients is I do have some Tillamook cheese. And we're gonna, this is gonna go quick. So let's get some Tillamook cheese on here. All right, I'm gonna get to steam this up a little bit. I want that cheese. Let's put that chicken on there. Katsu chicken, or katsu chicken sauce, whatever you want to call this stuff. Spread it out a little bit. Cheese is melting already. And put this chicken on there. Ah, look at that crispiness. Look at that. So delicious. Put that on there. We're gonna go ahead and take this back one, put it on there. It's about ready. There we go. Get my dome again. Some water. Backside. And we're about there. One of the new spatulas from uh, Blackstone. Really like this guy. And what I just, you know, found out too is that the bottom of these is a, uh, you know, like a beer, yeah, bottle opener. How's that cheese looking? Oh, that cheese is really melted.
Get that nice and toasty. Get that cheese really, really melty. All right. Let's give us another flip. Keep an eye on it. And we're going to call that done. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this sandwich up here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut this crust off. Cut these into thirds. I am using a different knife, so I'm not doing any cross contamination with the uh, chicken. All right. Take a look at that. The cheese. Whoo! Oh my goodness. Looks looks super amazing. Oh my goodness. I think this is one of my most <clears throat> favorite dishes I've ever made. Who doesn't love who doesn't love katsu chicken, right? So take a look at that. Let's go like this. Let's get that focused on there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Come on, focus. Check that out. Super, super amazing. I'm ready to try it. I don't know about you, but this looks amazing. And I already know that this is going to be super, super amazing. Cheese is really melted. You know, come on. Really, really delicious. Give her a try. I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited. Wow. So I grilled the bread on both sides. First I grilled it, and then I waited until the chicken was finished. And that grilled side, I threw it back down. And the mayo, so good. The sauce, the crunchiness of that uh, chicken, wow. I recommend this, really I do. Mm. Wow, that's really good stuff. Think outside the box, you know, when cooking. My wife's like, what, what do you, that sounds really weird, you know, but that's her opinion. Think outside the box makes things that are different, you know. I like to make things that are different. Um, I'll be sleeping, wake up at two o'clock in the morning and all of a sudden, boom, it'll hit me because my brain is like relaxed and had a little bit of rest from uh, the crazy days that we have. And that popped in my head and I was like, dude, let's go ahead and try it. Why not? <clears throat> so, hope everybody's uh, having a good day. I appreciate you stopping by watching this video. And um, like as always, like I always say, Put a smile on somebody's face, you know, smile at people as you walk by. And if you're able to buy somebody a cup of coffee, buy them a cup of coffee. It goes a long ways. It makes a person's day great. And uh, a lot of people need that. So 
you know, if you're able to do that. Thank you for stopping by once again. Thank you to all, all of my subscribers. Um, I just, I did hit 500 uh, today and I'm pretty excited. And um, it's a big milestone on my YouTube world that I'm doing. Um, like a lot of people know, and if you don't know, this is a three year, pro, uh, three year process for me. Um, probably retire from the job that I'm working at now in about three years and then I'm gonna see where I'm at with YouTube if I want to go full-time or what um, I will always put one to two videos out per week period that is my goal I'm going to do that and when I set a goal that's what I do so for the next three years it will be one to two videos per day or yeah one to two videos per day one to two videos per week Saturday morning I do a live video feed um, breakfast feed and that is no matter if it's 20 degrees outside if it's snowing if it's a blizzard I will still be cooking on the Blackstone and um, and a video on Tuesdays once again thanks again for watching and Make sure, if you can do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. And uh, I will see you on the next cook.